Dotsoft Incorporated presents how to create amazing presentations by using DCAD vector space and DCAD line. First, open your project in DCAD vector space. Our project is a townhouse, designed and modeled by the architect Pisani. We can watch it in draft, sculpt or render mode. To start the process, select the Hidden Lines option from the Rendering menu. Once the Hidden Lines is done, select Copy from the Edit menu. Go to Draft Mode and select Paste from the Edit menu. Watch that all objects are selected. If not, please select All. Go to the Object menu and select the Unchain command. This is very important to export it properly to DCAD line. Save it as PTF format and only visible objects as we recommend. It is also very important to save the file in polar coordinates and no libraries. To obtain a perspective bitmap image, go to render mode and select the solid option from the rendering menu. Press the export button and select the format you want to save the image. Once you've enjoyed the image, go to Edit menu and select Copy. Now go to draft mode and paste it there. If the solid image is over the lineal one, apply the send to back command from the objects arrange submenu. At this point, we have an initial good image for a presentation. It is important to previously set the zoom value equal to the output scale to obtain the same size for both images. Open the Tool Manager, then open the DCAD Line Commands folder. Also left open the Layer Manager. Now go, or open DCAD Line. Be sure to start in Lineal Mode. Select the Import option from the file menu. Select the file name and press the open button. The render process is very simple. Go to render line menu and select the filter you want to apply. Sketch hand in this case. Set the style or parameter you want and press OK to continue. Watch that you return automatically to DCAD vector space draft environment. Click on the D-Render Line command and select Insert from the Tool Manager side menu. Enjoy the sketch hand effect, applied to your lineal perspective. Activate the solid layer, to watch both images superimposed. Interesting isn't it? Let's return to DCAD Line, and select Image Mode, in order to process the solid image. Once the Image Mode interface appears, select Import Image File, from the File menu. Select the perspective file you recently saved. We suggest you to use 1024x640 or similar size images to work at maximum speed. This will save you a lot of time while studying the effects. First, apply the Render Ray Luminance filter from the Render Line menu to improve the scene luminance. Set each parameter as you want. We recommend you to experiment up to achieve the better effect for your taste. Watch how the image luminance is improved.
copy and paste the image to the CAD vector space draft table. The solid image is already behind, because the active layer is under the linear one. Let's see what happens if we apply the brush stroke effect over the luminance improved image. Now, experiment what array luminance plus algorithm can do for you brush stroke perspective. The combinations are endless. If you like an specific image, you can copy and paste it in DCAD vector space draft table. Please select a different layer for it. Turn back to the initial ray luminance image to start from there. You can reduce the number of image colors and also apply dithering effect to them. Once again, copy and paste the image in another layer, within the CAD draft table. Now, apply the grayscale filter, at average level. Add the fine noise effect at the previous image, and also the punch dots filter, to continue experimenting. As you can see, effects are additive. And also, can be addictive. Now apply a luminance filter again, watch the improved result. Once again, if you are satisfied with the new image appearance, copy and paste it to DCAD draft table. You can start applying filters to any image from the left side list. You can also apply filters, blend and opacity effects to the active image. Once again, copy and paste the image. Let's see what happens if we apply the lithography effect to the on-screen image. Set each parameter as you want. We recommend you to experiment up. Please copy it and paste it to DCAD vector space drafting table. Look how it's possible to obtain outstanding images at the best artistic level. To keep the image as a picture file, select the Save option from the File menu and select the file format. Repeat the process as many times as needed.
Save all images you want from the left image list. Remember to assign a different file name to each one. Browse the images to select the better ones for you. Decad line have two modes, image and line mode. Switch between them and finally return to line mode to continue processing the linear perspective. The PTF imported file remains there while switching. Apply the sketch ZAFS plan filter from the rendering menu. Set each parameter as you want, we recommend you to experiment up. Go to DCAD draft table, click on the DCAD line tool icon and insert the image. Watch a curved effect at the end of the lines. Activate the solid layer, to watch both images superimposed. Now experiment with the brush filter, and select the comic option. Then insert the image in DCAD draft table as usual. Activate a layer containing a solid image, to combine with the linear one. Finally. If you switch layers from the layer manager, you would be able to combine linear effects and image effects to obtain outstanding presentation images. Enjoy the slideshow. Watch how important it is to have the images in different layers. Remember again, that is very important to set the zoom value equal to the output scale, before calculating hidden lines and solid renders. This way both images result as the same size, and it will no need to rescale them. We hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please visit us at httpcadot.net. You will be very welcome.